Hey everybody, this is your boy, the host with the most, but humble, and I do mean humble, the Nostradamus, aka Derek, and of course, we are here on a beautiful, but rainy and gray Mardi Gras day, um, to do Axe Wrestle Crap, how about that? <laughs> if you're watching it today, you're watching tomorrow, you're watching it next week, I truly do thank you from the bottom of my heart, to the depths, the depths of my loins, I truly do thank you, without you guys, it truly wouldn't be me, I'm humbled eyes each and every single time. I'm allowed to do this. Thank you so much for watching the show. Thank you so much for allowing your boy to do the show. How about that? Um, if you know anything, anything about uh, Axe Russell Cram, you, I, I sent out a feed each and every Saturday. Around this time, it should be out as of right now, for you guys to get your questions in. Um, we talk about it. Have a great time. How about that? Anything that you that concerns you or whatnot, this is the show to actually uh, put your, uh, uh, your information in. How about that? Um... Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Like, share, and subscribe. Hit that notification bell. Once again, we're still on the road to 300. I am a very patient person, so it's okay. I, I do not mind uh, uh, of that. But the engagement, I do love. I love y'all for the engagement. Um, also, I'm on the X. I'm on TikTok. I do have my own Facebook group club. It is called WrestleCram Super Club. So go check me out over there as well. Um, say, say hey. Say hey. How about that? Uh, so um, other than that, uh, don't forget uh, you have until today to get your uh, – uh, what you learned from last week, not this week, last week, uh, and um, we'll we'll talk about that as well or whatnot. Uh, but other than that, uh, let's get into it. Let's get into it. The very first question is going to be from a Mitch. Does it? How we doing? A Mitch does it? Uh, what is your favorite song to listen to right now that you never get tired of? Uh, my favorite song as of right now is still on the Silk Sonic CD with Anderson Park and Bruno Mars. Go check that CD out. It is an awesome CD. Uh, it's the very last song on there. It is called Blast Off. It is a awesome song. It is a great song. I will tell anybody to go check that song out. It's called Blast Off. Man, it is so great. So if you want to listen to anything that, that, that I listen to or whatnot and you're blasting going to, uh, uh, you know, work probably or trying to get crunk to go to the gym, Blast Off is one of those songs that you can most definitely get jiggy with it. How about that? <laughs> so thank you so much for that question. Great question. Uh, the next question is going to be from Handlebar Mustache. How are we doing, Handlebar Mustache? Uh, I truly think Cody Rhodes was screwed out of his main event. Uh, but do you think he will uh, ever be more popular after this screw job? Right now, he is still popular. He's the hottest thing as of right now. And it does look like we will be getting a Cody Rhodes versus Roman Reigns match. Uh, I mean, I mean, I don't know if this was just a, a swerve or this was part of a writing or was this like, uh, okay, we know we messed up. We tried to do something, but we know we messed up as of right now. So let's kind of uh, t turn a little bit. And I think that's probably what the, the situation was. Um, so uh, look, I will say this. Cody is as hot as hot can be as of right now. If you are not digging Cody Rhodes right now, I don't know what is wrong with you. Uh, Cody is killing the game. I truly think that um, this screw job is kind of like the Kofi Kingston type of situation where Vince was like, uh, he's not that guy. He isn't the guy. So everybody was against him. So I would love to see where this story uh, 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 ends. Um, the storyline is great. I love you seen Friday Night SmackDown. Goodness gracious. Go check it out. Uh, man, I love it. I love the death. It is very fun. Uh, the storyline is going to keep me watching SmackDown right now. That's how intriguing it is. Goodness gracious, great balls of fire. But thank you so much uh, for that question, Handlebar Mustache. Uh, the next question is going to be uh, from the Black Star Boy. How are we doing, Black Star Boy? Uh, do you think Mercedes Monet will be a true savior of the women's division in AEW. Do you want my honest opinion? Do you honestly want my honest opinion? I truly think that Mercedes Monet, Sasha Banks, is probably one of uh, not probably one of the greatest women wrestlers uh, in uh, all time. All the time. She, like, the four horsewomen are really good. 
Um, I think Sasha is, or Mercedes Monet is just, she, she's a revolutionary. But I will say this, not even Mercedes Monet is going to save the women's division. The upper uh, uh, management, uh, Tony Khan is going to have to save the women's division. Uh, just like with Stephanie uh, uh, putting more emphasis in the women's revolution, it's going to have to be a women's revolution in uh, the uh, minds of the upper uh, management. It is what it is. It's That's just how it's going to have to be. Um, can she probably uh, put her her voice out, so, you know, get her voice out there and try to push for it? I mean, I hope so. I hope this could happen. But once again, I truly think that she's not going to be the one to uh, make the women's division uh, like the the areas of TNA or like uh, WWE. Those women divisions are stacked. Stardom, really, really good. These are really great uh, uh, women's, uh, uh, um, uh, you know, uh, divisions. So, honestly, do I think she is going to be the one to do it? No, I, I truly don't think that's going to happen. Uh, should it happen with her there? Yes, it should. It truly should. Uh, we, we're just going to have to sit back and watch. I think uh, this boss uh, thing in Boston, because she knows she's from Boston. So we will see what happens, uh, hopefully, with this situation. Uh, th but thank you so much for that question, Black Star Boy. The next question is going to be uh, from uh, Dragon Hunter XD. How we doing, Dragon Hunter XD? Uh, who do you think will win the, the brawl uh, of of supers, uh, of <laughs> the brawls of super? Uh, and do you think that Ursher's halftime performance will be good? Or will I even watch it? Um, I probably won't even watch the Super Bowl. I really don't even care. Uh, I am an Ursher fan. Uh, I would, like, I'll probably watch that on YouTube, probably. Um, what, what, who I think is going to win in the bowls of super or whatnot, I guarantee, I'm not going to guarantee it, but I mean, 85%, I'm going to go with the Chiefs. Uh, they have a, a way better defense, uh, a great offensive line. They have Travis Kelsey for crying out loud. Uh, and they also have uh, the, probably the best quarterback, uh, of our time in Patrick Mahomes. Don't get me wrong, they have a really great running back over there in the uh, uh, on the San Francisco 49ers. Uh, Brock Purdy, he, he's still an in-and-out type of character to me. I do think that he could be a great quarterback, but right now he still is very spotty. Um, so we'll see. Uh, I, do I think this is going to be a pretty good game? I really don't think this is going to be a good game. I think it's going to be a blowout. Uh, so my prediction is going to be probably 42 42 to 14. That's going to be my uh, score for the Super Bowl. 42 to 14. Uh, I have the Chiefs winning. But yeah, um, I, I think the performance uh, of Ursher is going to be awesome. He has a great catalog, and I just can't wait to see who uh, is always going to be the special appearances uh, with Ursher. So, I mean, it is what it is. I think it's going to be fun. Uh, and I'll watch the uh, halftime show probably back at YouTube. Or whatever. I'll do that. But uh, I do thank you for that question. Y'all, go check out the uh, the Bowls of Super uh, yeah, as well and see what you have. And uh, if you want to, get your uh, scores in on in the comments. How about that? Get your scores in and who you think is going to win, of course. Um, but thank you once again for those questions. <clears throat> for that question, of course. But anyway, um, they, <laughs> the next question is going to be from a dragon. Uh, no, not dragon. I'm sorry. I just did dragon hunter. The next question is going to be from a Larry Gear 1. How are we doing, Larry Gear 1? Uh, do you think uh, bringing back the ranking system on AEW will make the show a little bit more interesting? Uh, <clears throat> not only do I think that the ranking system is awesome, it was very awesome in AEW, I don't think it's going to be interesting. I think it's going to be legitimate now. Um, they're going to let people actually challenge for a, a, a title that truly deserves it. Now they're going to start looking at the job and say, why does this jobber have so many wins? Why does this person who's supposed to be very, very well known doesn't have any wins? Now they're going to actually look at stuff and make sure that we have legitimate contenders. So yes, I really enjoyed when they did do the um did ranking system. 
and I'm going to enjoy it now. Now we're actually getting a ranking system to see who actually is legitimate. How about that? But I do thank you for that question. Great question. Great question. Uh, the next question is going to be uh, from uh, Southern Bell. How we doing, Southern Bell? <clears throat> Velveteen Dream is getting a lot of momentum after the Chris Van Vliet interview. Should he be uh, capable of coming back to the NXT? Uh, or uh, do you think he should wait a while in wrestling? Um... I'll say this. I think Velveteen Dream deserves another shot. I truly think that he deserves to be back on NXT. I truly deserve that he needs that. That um, He needs it again. He needs it again. I think he's really good. I think he's sincere about his apology. I did see the interview. The interview is very, very good. Um, and, you know, I think he's cleaned himself up. I think he has completely cleaned himself up. I think he deserves, everybody deserves a second, third, fourth, fifth, and sixth time. I mean, uh, it, it, that's just life. Life will hit you in the face, and I think it hit him in the face to the point where now he has completely cleaned up, and he's doing better now. So, I mean, I really think that Velveteen Dream, and I liked him. I liked him when he was on uh, uh, NXT. He was really, really good. So, uh, let's let's give him another shot. Hopefully, he, he gets to the point where he is so good that they give him that title. Uh, but I do thank you for that question, Southern Bell. Great question, great question. Uh, the next question is going to be uh, from uh, Mr. Greenhead. How are we doing, Mr. Greenhead? Uh, the, that's going to be, uh, do you think that the change of the Rock versus Roman versus and Cody versus Seth at WrestleMania 40 is a hesitation due to the fact of Punk being injured? Of course, yes, you're, yes. There's a lot of people that's injured, and plus, uh, Brock is being, uh, uh, what, erased from the archives of wrestling, so <laughs> it, it's wild. It's truly wild that we have going on. A lot of, uh, we have injuries, people not being there anymore, so yeah, the Punk thing, I think, is, uh, I think changed the entire landscape of the storyline. Uh, I truly think that they were trying to do CM Punk versus Seth Rollins because it was getting to the point of that. Uh, unfortunately, that's not going to happen, um, and we get this awesome, crazy storyline uh, with, with uh, that happened uh, with The Rock now in the middle of this. Uh, you know what this truly feels like to me? This truly feels like the uh, uh, the Mike Tyson type of situation where Mike Tyson was, where uh, Shawn Michaels and Stone Cold Steve Austin, I think that was WrestleMania 19, I think that was. Or that, I think, yeah, I think it was WrestleMania, no, WrestleMania 10, I think it was. But one of my favorite um, main events of all time was that Stone Cold and Shawn Michaels match. And uh, we get a swerve where uh, 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 Mike Tyson was part of DX. But at the end, he became a Stone Cold Steve Austin fan. That's what it looks like. It, we may get this situation just like that again. So uh, I can't wait to see what happens with this. But uh, I do think that uh, CM Punk, the injury with that kind of messed a lot of it up. Of course, we were supposed to get a uh, Brock Lesnar versus Gunther match. That's not going to happen. Uh, hopefully, we do get the match between Jay and uh, uh, Gunther at WrestleMania. We don't get Jay and Jimmy. That's kind of a irrelevant type of situation. Uh, but I would love to see Gunther versus uh, Jay at WrestleMania. That would be a very fun match as well. But yeah, I, I truly think that uh, 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 CM Punk getting injured did kind of mess a lot of stuff up. And, and you know, it happens. It happens in wrestling. Uh, but I, I can't wait to see when CM Punk comes back and, you know, gives vengeance to uh, Drew McIntyre. A great Drew McIntyre, matter of fact. I love this heel Drew McIntyre. Uh, but I do thank you for that question, Mr. Greenhead. The next question is going to be from Pomegranate Juice 96. How are we doing, Pomegranate Juice? Uh, what do you think about the Cody Rhodes choosing Roman Reigns situation at the end of the WrestleMania kickoff? Greatest thing of all time. I tell you, I, a lot of fans were upset, including myself, uh, that, you know, what was going on. Uh, but, man, how huge of a, a moment this was, not only in the, dub, in the WWE, but in wrestling history altogether. I truly enjoyed Cody, but I will say 
that CM Punk is truly telling the truth where uh, 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 Cody needs to stop being diplomatic and uh, he needs to start punching people in the face. I would love to see a Cody Rhodes versus uh, Dwayne The Rock Johnson match at Elimination Chamber. Uh, that would be a great thing. I mean, I would love to see Cody just say, hey, let's put my number one contendership on the line at uh, at uh, Elimination Chamber. If I win, uh, I go to it. If I lose The Rock, you can take it from me. That would be something even more interesting if we had something like that. But uh, I can't wait to see uh, down the line. We do have Elimination Chamber, so let's let's focus on Elimination Chamber first, and then we get to WrestleMania. How about that? But, uh, wow, just a head explosion. Great uh, storyline that's going on. Oh, my goodness. I can talk about that for at least 20, 20 minutes. But I'm not because I have other questions. Okay, But thank you so much uh, for that question, Paul Greater Juice. Uh, the next question is going to be uh, from, uh, uh, that's going to be uh, Southern Bell. How we doing, Southern Bell? R-Truth is the hottest face right now. He, is, uh, he can keep up with the super, he can keep up with super baby faces. Um... Love from the fans. Should he get a match at WrestleMania? And if so, what should who should he face? <clears throat> I would. Okay, so here's the thing. Um, it looks like Jim Day is gonna hold on to those titles pretty for a long time. I would like to see the Miz, and I would like to see our Truth face Judgment Day, getting those titles off of Judgment Day. Uh, probably you know, uh, getting Damian Priest a little bit more into trying to get. That title off of Seth Rollins. Uh, that would be the situation. I would love to see that. Uh, so um, have them uh, face. That they can be the very first match. Miz and R Truth versus Judgment Day for those titles, giving it chance, giving a chance for Damian Priest to uh, uh, cool off a little bit, and then eventually, hopefully, do a Seth Rollins uh, go in and take that title off him on WrestleMania. Be a great thing. I think that would happen. I think that'd be a great situation. But yeah, the uh, R Truth and, and the Miz. I think that'll be a great situation. But uh, thank you for that question. Great question. Great question. Next question is going to be from Mr. Greenhead. How are we doing, Mr. Greenhead? Uh, do you think Priest and Finn need to drop the titles for a legitimate title tag team uh, match at Mania? No. <clears throat> Hold on to the titles. Now it's too late. <laughs> it's too late. Um, I would have loved to seen somebody take those titles off of them like three months ago or or a couple of months ago. Um, but that's not going to happen now. It's truly pointless and a waste of time. So have them hold those titles into Mania and have R-Truth and and, uh, and the Miz take them off. That, that's the only thing. I mean, they are, to me, I'll say this again, they're not legitimate. They do not use, they do not use those titles uh, to, to its benefit. I hate that they don't do that. But, you know, since they have the titles and we're on the road to WrestleMania, it'll be pointless to take those titles off of them now and give them to somebody new. It'll be pointless or whatnot. So give the, so let them hold those titles to Mania, have them have a legitimate title match, and we'll be, done, we'll be done with it. Hopefully, we'll be done with it. Hopefully, we'll be done with it. But I do thank you for that question. Next uh, question is going to be uh, from Mitch Does It. How we doing, Mitch? Uh, at the time, what is your thoughts on the battle of the billionaires between Vince McMahon and Donald J. Trump? Um, <clears throat> I thought it was a good match. I honestly thought it was a good match. Um, <clears throat> the build-up to it was actually really good. Bobby Lashley was still in his prime. He's in his prime now. I don't think Bobby Lashley aged. And then you had Umaga, who was just killing the game. I hate that, um... Umaga, you know, checked out uh, early in life. I really hate that that happened because I truly think that he could have been a great world champion. That's how good Umaga was. Um, and, you know, whoever lost, um, you know, had to sh shave their, their head. Um, I remember uh, that uh, uh, at the beginning that Donald Trump took over the WWE and was actually giving out like $100 bills. I thought that was really good. Uh, Donald Trump plays a really good face. Uh, no disrespect to what he has going on uh, th now, but <clears throat> he, he he did a really he was a really good face, and I really enjoyed that match altogether. Uh, it could have went either or. Uh, I it led to us with a Vince McMahon uh, being uh, he, uh what uh, he was ECW champion with the do rag. So I mean uh, a lot of stuff happened with that. So, <clears throat> but I really enjoyed that match. It was a really fun match. Uh, thank you so much. 
uh, for that question. Uh, Mitch does it. Uh, the next question is going to be from Laurel. How are we doing, Laurel? Uh, if you had a choice between the women's tag team titles or a legitimate mid-card women's title, uh, or both, uh, for both brands, which one would you choose? I would make a United States champion, a women's United States champion, and a women's intercontinental champion. I would get rid of these tag titles. Y'all are putting uh, people... Now, there are legitimate women's tag teams out there. That's cool. I mean, I would... I mean, if I would keep it, I would keep it. But, you know, there are legitimate tag uh, tag team on the WWE. There are. Um, you know, but pretty much there are a ton of, of women that are there that are not in tag teams. They just throw them together. Some are legitimate with uh, the uh, 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 Sonya Deville and Chelsea Green, which was really good. And some you have that are just kind of fall apart, which is uh, with, I think that's, is it Tegan Knox and... Uh, and Natalia, uh, I think it is. Those are not really good tag teams. So um, you do have legitimate tag teams. The Kabuki Warriors, they have, they were there at one time as tag champions, and they were legitimate, you know. So, um, <clears throat> but if I had to get rid of them, I would get rid of them. I would get rid of them and just make a women's United States champion and a women's Intercontinental champion. <clears throat> have them on 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 separate brands. And have them run with it. I mean, that would be a great situation. I truly, honestly think, in my opinion, that AW really showed the way of mid-card women titles. You have two titles there. Uh, Julia Hart is killing the game with that TBS uh, title. And uh, Timeless Tony Storm is doing really well with that uh, uh, world title over there. Uh, and now they're having another women's title with the television title. So, I mean, it's, it's legit. I think it's legit that you should they should get with somebody and have some mid-card titles. Uh, so somebody can so we can somebody can go for a title that isn't a world title. I mean, it's, I think it's legit. Or what not. But, yeah, if I had to choose to have two mid-card titles instead of the tag titles, I would choose the mid-card titles in a heartbeat, in a heartbeat. Uh, but uh, thank you so much for that question, Laurel. The very last question is going to be from uh, Larry Gear One. How we doing, Larry Gear One? It looks like they finally pulled the Band-Aid off of Trick Williams and Carmelo Hayes' friendship. Uh, Carmelo looks uh, SmackDown bound, but would uh, where should Trick go? Trick should stay. Trick should stay in NXT. And he should get that NXT title, have him run with that title for at least a seven to eight months. Uh, <clears throat> I think that will be a, a legitimate situation uh, with Trick. Uh, Carmelo, yes, he has done as all that. He's done a great job at NXT uh, as the uh, champion. It is time for him to leave. And then eventually we know that, the, uh, that they will face each other uh, eventually. Uh, uh, but, you know, have him go back to SmackDown, have him uh, run as a, a heel. Hopefully, we have him go into that Bobby Lashley faction. I would love to see that. It looks like Adonis is not there. I don't know where Shanti, uh, Shanti and the Adonis is, but have him go into that faction. I mean, I would love to see that. Would love to see that. Uh, um, and have that, that, uh, that Bobby Lashley group go full-fledged heel after this uh, 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 meeting with is it called the Last Testament? I think it's called with uh, Karrion Cross over there. Um, I would love to see that, but Trick needs to stay. Trick needs a little bit more development uh, in his wrestling. I, I love his wrestling uh, skill set, but he needs a little bit more, just a little bit more. I love his capoeira type of uh, uh, of fighting style. I love that. It is so good. Trick is the future. Trick, Braun, and Melo are the future. I cannot wait to see what happens with these three, these particular three wrestlers in NXT. They are so good. So good, so good, so good. Uh, so, uh, yeah, have him go over there, have him have his own name. I would love to see, matter of fact, we talk about LA Knight, I would love to see Trick, I mean, not Trick, uh, Camelo versus uh, uh, um, uh, Jake Paul. Uh, at Wrestle, uh, WrestleMania 4. I would love to see that. They're both high flyers. They're both really, really good on the mic as well. I would love to see that.
But uh, but thank you so much for that question. Thank you so much for that question. So I did put out some polls. I only put out two of them this go around. Uh, the very first one was, what do you think about Cody, uh, The Rock, WWE, and WrestleMania 40? This was before. This was before the uh the the kickoff to WrestleMania. Uh, and astounding, forty five percent of y'all said Cody got screwed. And yes, I agree. At that time, Cody got screwed. Um, and after that, I put out a another uh, feed. Uh, at, this is after I saw the uh, the actual WrestleMania kickoff. So I said, after the WrestleMania kickoff show, what match will main event night two of WrestleMania 40? And astounding, 75% of you guys put Roman versus Cody. I, myself, I agree this should be the match. Uh, but, oh, God, great, great. Thank you all so much for being interactive with me. Thank you so much for enjoying the show. Thank you so much for just, just being here, just being a part of WrestleCram itself. Um, don't forget, you have one more day to get your uh, your what you learned from last week. Remember, last week, not this week, last week. Oh, what not? I will have the new feed out for that tomorrow. Also, that show will be premiering tomorrow. So don't forget about that. That will be premiering tomorrow. Uh, also, uh, WrestleCram Gripes, that is out right now. So get your gripes in. Uh, enjoy that. Have a great time with that as well. Uh, other than that, uh, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. You guys like, share, and subscribe. Hit that notification bell. Um, and also, I'm on the TikToks. I'm on uh, YouTube. Here, on YouTube. I, I keep. I never say YouTube because you know I usually post the YouTube stuff out. But I'm here on TikToks. I'm on the X, and I'm also and I also have my own Facebook group club. It's called Russell Cram Super Club. Don't forget to go check out me out old over there on uh, uh, Russell Cram Super Club. Uh, we're I think I think we're still at 49. We're still at you, who, who's ever here, who's ever here right now, okay, go and subscribe to my Facebook group page. Make make yourself number 50 or whatnot. Whoever does number 50, just post, say, hey, I'm number 50. So I can say, hey, hey to you, whatnot. But, um, but I thank y'all so much. I thank y'all so much. The best is truly yet to come. And until next time, love, peace, and of course, of course. Of course, of course. Wrestling.